In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to clean your outside AC condensing coil. Let's go change and get this done, but first, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Come on. The radiator looking thing with the tightly packed fins all around it is your air conditioner's condensing coil. There's tubes running all through those fins that have refrigerant pumping through them. The refrigerant has just removed heat from the air inside your home and is bringing it out here to get rid of it. And the way that it does it, with airflow. It pulls air in through the sides and exhausts it out the top. When it pulls air in the sides, it also pulls anything that's in the air. Dirt, grass clippings, cotton fuzz. Just like a filter, when that stuff builds up, it restricts airflow. And anything that gets in the way of that airflow puts extra stress on the other parts of your air conditioner and can cause them to fail before they should. A dirtier block condenser coil can cause your compressor to work harder than it needs to, overheat and eventually stop working. And replacing your compressor is not a cheap repair, but with a little bit of preventative maintenance like cleaning your condensing coil, you can prolong the life of your system and give your air conditioner the best chance of making it through the summer. I'm gonna show you a basic cleaning first. All you need is a garden hose and maybe some hedge trimmers. You need to keep clearance around the sides and the top. So if you have bushes or shrubs that are growing around or into the equipment, trim those back about 18 to 24 inches. Next, cut the power to the unit, clear debris from around the equipment, then take your water hose and spray from the inside out and then rinse off the outside as well. Turn the power back on and you're good. Another method is more of a deep cleaning method. There's lots of cleaning products on the market. Whatever you choose, I recommend that you use a foaming product because it gets into the fins better and helps to pull out dirt from the coils. The first thing you wanna do is cut power to the system. Next, we're gonna take the top off the unit. Remove the screws from around the side, lift the top up, and if you can, lean it against the house or lean it over the side. There's gonna be a wiring harness connected to the fan motor. I don't recommend disconnecting this. Next, we're gonna remove anything that's settled in the bottom over the year. Scoop out what you can with your hands and then maybe use a shop vac to get the rest of it. Next, we're gonna take apart the outside of the equipment so that we can get full access to the coils. You can really see how the dirt and debris builds up in those hard to reach areas of the coils. Next, use a stiff bristled brush to remove any of the big stuff before you rinse it. It's easier to do before it's wet and muddy. Be sure to brush in the direction that the fins are going so you don't bend them over. Now we wanna inspect the fins and look for any that look like they're bent over. Straighten them as much as you can, but be careful, you don't wanna do more damage than good. They actually make a couple different kinds of fin combs. I like the kind that are spread the same distance apart as the fins. Next, before we use the cleaner, I'm going to spray the fins off to get as much of the loose dirt off as I can. You can use a hose and a sprayer head, just be careful how much pressure you use. You don't wanna bend the fins over. Okay, now we wanna wash the coils. You can use an aerosol cleaner if you want, but I'm gonna use the kind that you mix up. Again, the important thing is that it foams. Spray the cleaner on both sides of the coil and then let it set for about five minutes. Give it a rinse and then repeat that process a couple of times until you're satisfied that the foaming cleaner isn't pulling dirt out anymore. Fudge. This is where it's gonna get annoying. Now we have to put the sides back on the unit. And to be honest, this was probably the most difficult part of the process because I've never taken this thing apart before. Stupid. I eventually had to get a second set of hands to help me hold everything together and get the screws to go into the right holes. Up to this point, I was pretty confident that this is something that the average person could try. But after having to put it back together, I would not call this a beginner project. 
It's always good when you don't have screws left over. I got one more screw. I got <laughs> Son of a gun. Oh, right there. Ha! Ha! And then turn the power back on. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of sucked. <laughs> uh, hats off to all you HVAC technicians out there that do harder stuff than I just showed you how to do. A deep clean may be a little bit more work than you wanna try yourself, but uh, I promise your system is gonna perform better with clean coils. You can even check out the video where we showed you how to clean the coil that's inside the house. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Till next time, thanks so much for watching. Good luck with your next project. And don't forget, if you ever get in over your head, it's okay to call a service company for some help. See ya. Somebody's cooking steaks and it smells good. See ya. Better and pulls dirt out. Ah, crap, I'm picking up rocks. Ah! Dude, I kind of hate filming outside. Struggle is real, people.